Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie night here on Horror Palooza. What's playing today, Dan? We are watching The Hills Have Eyes, the from, original from 1979. Yes, we are. Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes. Yes, sir. I have not seen this, so I am really looking forward to this. Heck, I heard Wes Craven. I'm like, totally, I'm on board. Let's go get it. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. He's got D. Wallace. Yeah. I love how this starts off like something they would watch on Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> Just a really simple background with some music. He needs to steady his camera a little bit. Here. Oh, no, you don't. I'm sorry, Ruby. I know you're starving, but I got nothing else to trade. Take me with you. <laughs> so that's it. You want to get out. Smart thing to do. If my pa knew you was getting out, he'd rip your lungs out. Oh, that'll be the state trooper. They'll toss you in jail and throw the key up a wild sow's ass and holler suey. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I got some metaphors. Fill it up and check the oil and water. Give me what I got. Oh. There you go. Good boys. There's Dee Wallace. A yep. Good girl. She's got a baby. It's supposed to be a real silver mine. Lady, there ain't no silver left back in there. Look, mister, don't take your family back in there. Besides, there's nothing back in there but animals. You mean nobody lives back there? Oh, no, people live there. I wouldn't go out there anyways. It looks barren. What's the matter? See something? Is that blood? Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. After the pig. There's nothing, dummy. Oh, there's something. Come on. Dogs don't act like that. What the hell? Looks like some Mad Max shit. That's what I was thinking. You folks stay on the main road now, you hear? Stay on the main road! He's very crass about that. I'd listen to him. Let's get out of here. You made sure he ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. no. I think they're coming for you. There'll be hell to pay now. Why? What did he do? You better. Papa. Papa Hunter. Mama. Pluto. You see a station wagon and a trailer? That's what Mercury said. Well, they all have planetary names. Nuclear testing site close to the public. Holy shit, Daddy! All right, everybody, shut up, that's it! You drove them into a nuclear test site? Out on a bomb range. We are oh, yes, you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is your cue to leave. About killed your family to avoid a rabbit in the road. Blockhead. How's the baby? She's fine. Mom's got her. Look, I'm wounded. <gasps> what is it? <laughs> no, let's just catch it, folks. Oh my God. I <laughs> see so you guys have serious problems. You're in the middle of the desert and nobody knows you're there. Oh, yeah. Just be the girl? Pretty girl. Oh, I guess so. Oh. Oh. How'd that get in there? Hopefully that wasn't somebody's pet spider. I'll walk out as far as the old geezer service station. You I... can't get there and back before dark? It's only 15 miles back. Oh, God. Walking? Yeah, you ain't gonna get there in time. Midday? I don't think so. Easy pickings now. <laughs> What'd you see? Something's got her spooked. I suppose it's my fault we got lost. Don't be ridiculous. It's Daddy's idea to go looking around for this mine without any help. Yeah, who cares about a silver mine in the middle of the <laughs> desert? I want to see America's natural resources. Why? <laughs> I wonder what's bugging her. All right, creep. What's your story? Run it, don't. No, now you got to go catch it. You, do you get back here? Bobby? <laughs> Damn dog. <laughs> No, you idiot, don't do it. Come here. Beauty, come here. No, stay away from that. The dog don't know any better. <gasps> How the hell did she get up there? The dog can climb. Oh, oh, oh. God, that's graphic. 
What the hell was that? Damn. Too fast. Yeah, got reckless. Yeah, you left the girls there all exposed. These creeps out there. Mayday. Mayday. This is mobile unit 2345. Oh my we god, are they got their own. Of help. That's what they were waiting to hear. Sounded like some sort of animal. There was no animal. Randa? Randa? Oh, now she's looking for the guy with the other dog. Your only other. No, come <laughs> on. Bobby? What? Somebody's there. Bobby? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's just him. Christ. <laughs> Where have you been? Bobby, your face. What happened? Bobby? Say something, dude. He's in shock right now. You make it back to the gas station? It's the way it looks. Let's say, what happened to the old guy? <laughs> oh. Man, it's just anybody's fair game right now. Also, like they're trying to ambush him. I think that was the older guy. Oh! Get your stupid neck out of that belt, you jackass! <laughs> Yeah, how'd you let that happen? How's your family? They're all okay. Like hell they are. Give me that booze. It's something you should know about. Yeah, well, what is it? There's crazies in them there hills. Mm. Didn't you find Beauty? She must have run off. You're lying. I wouldn't have the heart to tell her either. It's not a pretty image. Back in 29, me and my wife Martha had a little baby calls and another kid on the way something went wrong he was so big he came out sideways and almost tore poor martha apart oh my god. god accidents were happening all the time dogs falling in the well i even found chickens where their heads bit off there's no accident and the whole damn house burned to the ground <laughs> well little baby girl was a cinder when i found her i hit him with a tire iron and i split his face wide open mm. That was a long time ago. Long enough to raise a parcel of wild kids. Long enough for a devil kid to grow up to be a devil man. All them freaking people out there, he, kids he's been raising. What the hell is this? That's just some stuff that I... Oh! oh! This came out of nowhere. Oh! Oh my god. Beating the death. Dude, your heart condition. Hopefully it kills you before these guys. Jesus. Crowbar's just in him. Yeah. Did anybody try to CV while I was gone? One time we got something that sounded like an Epstein collar. It sounded uh, sort of like heavy breathing, didn't it, Mom? It was static. It wasn't. Yeah, y'all got problems out there. Oh, Jesus. You left the dog outside? Why would you do that? Yeah, slow it down there. You son of a bitch. You need to calm down if you kill over. Did you actually hit one of them? Ludo, we're about ready. Ready for what? Oh, is that the guy? Is that the husband? Hey, what's the matter with you? Well, for one thing, Dad's not back yet. He had a lot further to go than I did. And with a bum, with a bum heart? Yeah. It's Dad. Hey! I found a tower and a and a dump. All kinds of good stuff. I mean. It's no wonder we're paying higher taxes. They're throwing this stuff away. You probably stole their shit. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh, they did hit that Air Force base. Mm hmm. So there's like a whole stash of stuff out there somewhere. <laughs> Doggo, you need to go back. Oh. Ooh. He's pissed. You creepy bastards are out here eating it. What's the matter? You don't like dog anymore? Dog's ghost is talking out there at night. 
They look like freaking troglodytes. A little bit. I was just like ordinary people who went feral. <laughs> what the heck are you doing with this guy? <laughs> is he crucifying him? What the hell is wrong with you people? You're messed up. <laughs> the kid looks freaked out. I know you're not gonna blow up this car. Oh, you're gonna siphon. Hey, there's that creepy dude. So he's the fourth one we've seen. How many are there? Beast? Oh, he is out there barking. I'm surprised they ain't killed him already. They ain't caught him yet. Uh, no! This can't be happening again. Uh, not another dog. I think they're playing with you. Uh, yeah, I think they are too. Tell you what, they're good. Yeah. You need to tell them what's going on because things are getting weird out there. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, are they in there already? No! No! Oh, you guys are screwed. Mom, sister, and the baby are in there. You went and left them all asleep. Good job. They're just taking all the food and supplies. They are starving. Dad's not back yet. You said that you heard heavy breathing on the CB, and now the beast's out there barking like he's heard. It's probably beauty. She always sounds like that when she barks. Say it. There were other noises out there. <laughs> Beauty's been dead since this afternoon when I found her. She didn't gut it. She, somebody slit her, right? And just hold on an idea. I'll get a flashlight and I'll take a look. I wouldn't. Get that damn cra crazy guy out of there. Look at that! Do it. Did they blow him up and light him on fire? God! Put it! Help me! Lit him on fire? What's the point of that? Up, Brenda! Keep an eye on the baby, okay? This was the point. There's one messed up diversion. Jesus. Mars. We in Papa. All of you are going to deal with it. Oh my god. Oh, this... oh that's messed up. Uh, it's too late. Yeah. I'm just eating that raw. Yeah. God. You gonna say something for the rest of the family? No. No. Are you that hungry? Oh! Dude. Why? That's disgusting. Damn psychopaths. You got an ear on his neck? <laughs> you wait till you get to be a man. Jesus Christ. No. Baby fat, fat, juicy. Oh my God. That's disturbing as hell. <laughs> that, that's not my mom. You need some water. Still alive? He can't be alive. No. Hey, who was that? Where the hell are you going with my baby? Get out of my way, bitch. Good God. Freaking broom, come on. Oh no. Oh, oh, damn it. There you go. Oh. oh. God, they got violent so fast. Get out of your ass. You can try and take her too? Come on. Oh, thank God. I come back for you later, girly. Jesus. Don't waste your ammo. They took your baby. <laughs> yeah, dang. Yeah, it's his girl. Baby's mama. Damn it. Don't go away. Don't go away. <laughs> yeah, she took two shots. She ain't gonna make it. you they're hungry
hungry. Hey, look! He's taking his precious time hunting them down. Better get over there and rip his face off. Right. Yeah, he's still got a gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got the bullets. Oh, Jesus. Mercury? You paying attention, Mercury? You got something to eat? Hello, baby. You be good dog, you get some. Papa, do you be so happy? Yeah, they're all just, like, weird. Sound like hillbillies. Yeah. Or inbred or something, you know? That could be. Get him! All right, Beast, do your thing. Good boy. One down. Good boy. I thought I heard something. Rocks falling. <laughs> Got rocks in your head, asshole. <laughs> you just let old Beast do his thing. It's for the best that he's quiet because they won't hear him coming. Thought he's gonna get in, get on that radio and go. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a particular set of skills. What you got there? We caught us a young Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> Jesus. Mercury, don't answer, Papa. Maybe you don't know how to work it right. I don't think that's it. I told you I heard something. You heard what? I'll go find him. God almighty, this guy's scary. Daddy back here? Not yet. Oh no! <gasps> Turn the lights on, please! Oh Christ, a battery must be dead. Jesus. Oh my god. You guys have no more ammo. Quit wasting your bullets. Hopefully, you didn't get your own dog. <laughs> Hello, Papa? Hello, Papa Joop? Hold on. It probably was the damn dog. He just left the radio on and ran back. It's the beast. What are you trying to do? It's the beast. He's fine. Where have you been? Huh? Where have you been? Mercury's dead, Papa. He was pushed. Who the hell pushed my boy? Devil Dog. The big bastard's tracks are right on Mercury. How the hell would you know that? <laughs> you just said they heard the tracks. Oh, he tracks. Yeah. Your dog may sport of my blood, you pig. I'm going to kill your kids for that. Look at this guy's scar. It's creeping me out. It is. His nose just split all the way open. Yeah. I thought you were smart and tough. You're stupid. They go back and get the dad? Oh, for God's sake. That's probably what they're eating. I'll eat the brains of your kids, kids. I'm in. You're out. Hi. Oh. Ugh. Uh, well, they're easy to see now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, she died. <laughs> this is a breaker K -E Get off the radio, you idiot. I'd say they're hunting you. You need to hunt them right back. We need police help. <laughs> Mayday. Look, Brendan, will you keep it down? She's lost it, too. Completely traumatized. Yeah. Too much has happened to her. Hello, KUI. Holy crap, someone answered. Air Force Rescue. We're under attack. I don't know who. They, they killed three of us, and they kidnapped a baby. What are your defenses? Capabilities at this time. What? I think it's just them. Yeah. One gun, and I only have two bullets left. We are recommending that you stand on your heads with your thumbs up. <laughs> what are your defensive capabilities at this time? <laughs> yeah, good one, idiot. It's your turn up a bat, okay? So you go and get him, okay? Go, go. Go get a beast. Maybe the. Real Air Force will see this and come. Nobody's gonna help us. Gotta get out of this ourselves. Well, if you've got any bright ideas, girl, just sing right out. Sharpen some sticks and get ready to fight. It's a better plan they've had so far. Yeah. Come on, I got an idea. Oh, you do have that propane. You can blow up your own trailer. <laughs> <Just waiting for it>. <laughs> <laughs> That dog is a professional stalker. Damn. That dog does have a particular set of skills. <laughs> Looks like a total mongoloid. Yeah, living in an atomic zone will do that to you. Yeah. Oh, good. You're alone. <laughs> How convenient for beasts. <laughs> Get him, beast. Get him! Rip his leg off. Go for the groin. Oh, 
tell me you didn't get hit. Hopefully it wasn't too serious. Oh, God. You're dead weight now. Kill a baby! Damn it. Ruby? What do you want? Get it out of here. They're gonna do this now, huh? Okay. Don't do it. Time away. I don't want to see it. I don't that desperate to eat a baby. Oh. Ruby! She pulled a fast one on him. Good for you. Where is she? Mama get cracked in the head? <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad she's got a conscience. I say one of them is a little human. Y'all do y'all got no time for this. Go! Oh, we can't do this! We've got it! Oh my god, are you leaving her out there as bait? It's the only way to be sure! <laughs> oh, it's messed up. <laughs> That's why she's so upset about it. The decisions you have to make. Dog's coming back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking devil dog. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Strangle you with your own guts. Yeah, come and get it. She can't even walk. <laughs> this dog is just messing with him now. <laughs> oh, you got him in the neck now. <laughs> get him. Ah, that dog's gone evil. He's not gonna live now. Dog's just gonna watch him die. <laughs> I mean, damn, you're the hero of this movie. <laughs> Seriously. Just got right in his face and like, I, I want to watch the lights go yeah. out. <laughs> Jupiter, you got some stamina. All that human flesh you've been eating over the years. Yeah, is that what it is? I don't know. They set traps for you too, pal. Fired up. Oh! <laughs> you bunch of rednecks. <laughs> no. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I know it sucks when people fight back, doesn't it? Oh, Jupiter, you're going to die. Oh, he can hear it. Come on, open the door. He knows. He knows it's a trap. Huh. Oh, maybe not. Or he did it anyway to give you the impression. Where are you going? You got to be sure. Buddy, go! You're the new Jupiter now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Good God. <laughs> there you go. Cut his head off. That'll mess him up. There you go. But that's your two rounds. Nope, now give me that hatchet. Yeah. Finish the job. Oh, you still got him. But that should be the end of your threat. <laughs> Yeah, then you're gonna have to fight him. Where's that dog? Get that dog back out here. Right. The both of you can take him on. Oh, there you go. Nice yeah. Shot. Die, boy. How are you running on that bum leg like that? Oh, for God's sake. Throw the snake at him! There you go. Leave him alone! Take me! Alright, well, she bought you some time. Get him down. Oh, God, you're not a good fighter, man. Go get that snake and strangle him with it. She's going oh, shoot! Oh, oh, God. That was close. Oh. oh, you're smart, girl. Okay. Damn. She knows how to wrangle him. There you go. 
Gad will get him. He's done for. Oh, God. There you go. All right, job is done. Can't be too careful. It's all right, man. He ain't gonna live. Not after all that. Okay, well, that's one way to end it. Did they make it out of the desert? Yes. <laughs> the end. So I'm going to draw my own conclusion from that conclusion and just say, and they all lived happily ever after as the new Jupiter, Mercury, and whatever. They took over as the cannibals in the desert. Why not? Yeah, because it just kind of leaves you hanging there because as far as we know, they never got in contact with anybody the whole time they were out there. So is somebody going to find them out there and just rescue them or are you going to die from dehydration in the desert? And all this was for nothing. I have no clue where that could possibly go. At the very least, they got retribution. They got the wasteland justice there. Yeah. So the thing is, you know, the the mama's still alive too, back at the camp. Well, she's drunk on J and B, so. Yeah, but it's like technically they're not all gone, but it seems like you're safe. I, I mean, you. I never saw you go and get your baby again. I'll say that. Yeah. So it's like, the last time we saw that baby, it was kind of up in the hills on its own and there's rattlesnakes all up in them their hills mm -hmm. and i don't like the idea of that being the case so right cheers to beast yes beast you are living up to your name he's the true hero of this movie yeah you were beast is going to be the new jupiter yes he, he's earned it born sideways and all hairy oh god yep and that's pretty bad you have all these people here you have a former cop you have his two sons his daughters all these people here and the dog is the smartest one in the group <laughs> I don't know, the dog's ready. The dog got off its chain. Yeah, hunted them through the desert at night. Picked just the right time to kill one of them. Did it with no water or food. It just <laughs> stayed out there and said, I ain't eating until y'all are dead. Stalked the last two guys exactly where they were going. Waited for one of them to fall behind to take him out. Left, came back to finish the job. I know, he reverted back to his uh, to his killer instincts there. But that, like, that's crazy. The dog is doing outdoing everybody in this movie. Dog could do it, though. He could... It could get places faster. It could go places that pe they couldn't. Yeah. And, you know, because you saw it stealth get... It, it, it stealthily got Mercury there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then I forgot what the, you know, what pointy head was there. One of the planets. Pluto <laughs> or something. I don't know. I think it was Pluto. Okay. Pluto's not even a planet anymore. But... That's how you know this movie's outdated, folks. Yes. <laughs> but it's fine. This was less of a movie to me and more of a uh, public, public uh, service warning to not go looking for ancient silver mines in the desert. For that matter, just don't go into remote parts of the desert when nobody knows you're there. Exactly. Believe me, I've lived in Vegas. There's a lot of desert out there, places you do not want to be in 100 degree heat. Because it's 100 a day, it's 20 by night. I mean, you're not going to have that big a swing, but it will be cold at night, that's for sure. Yeah, I, f I felt so bad for poor Brenda there. She really got the got the full horror experience. I say, you family. didn't see it, but you know that they took advantage of her and just they were gonna kill her. Fortunately, he ran out of bullets, but... This doesn't feel like an old-school Wes Craven movie, though. I mean, when you compare it, say, to a Nightmare on Elm Street or something, it just feel. I mean, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. but it didn't feel like something he did, per se. It doesn't quite have that same level of creativity. You can definitely tell it's one of his older works, because even the camera work is a little bit... Not the most professional at times. He's probably doing it all himself because it was written and directed. By yeah. Him, so and even if you look at the cannibals, like yeah, they look a little bit weird. You got Mars there who's got like his sharpened down teeth. You got Jupiter who's got that massive scar on his face where his father hit him as a kid. That scar was pretty good. It was I pretty good effects, I will say, because even I'm looking like, oh god, you can kind of see detail inside of it. I don't know how you survived whatever he hit you with there. That was messed up. It was very fleshy looking and gave it a lot of detail, which I appreciated. So, you know, there were parts of it that were really well done like that. But when you take it in, like, overall, the cannibal just kind of look like dudes out in the desert. Just about. Like, especially the mama. Like, the mama just looks like someone they pulled out of a casino in Vegas and just left her in the desert. Oh, yeah. I have seen the remake of this. Mm hmm It is far more gruesome than this. Like, the cannibals are irradiated. Mm hmm They're messed up people. The things they do in that, like, how, how, bad, how bad their treatment of other people is, is far worse. Yeah. It's a true horror show. So. Yeah. And I suppose that's the difference in, you know, this being an early West Craven film versus a newer film where you do have access to more tech, more money, and you can do stuff like that. Even so, though, I think it works as is. 
Like, especially in that scene where they break into the trailer. Like, that's a really violent scene for what happens in there. Like, granted, oh, yeah. all, he, all he does is shoot a couple of people. But, you know, you see the blood, you see the screams. Every, everything is, like, so compact in that scene. It would have been a completely taboo subject back in the day. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, back then, movies like this were probably even pushing the bounds, you know? Because you're talking about the same time frame as, say, The Exorcist and whatnot. Yeah. All these movies are kind of coming out at the same time there. And they were all just kind of doing their own thing at the time. And it was all just create and creative at the moment. You know, they, people died in messed up ways. Like, look what happened to the dad. Like, it was crazy enough that you sit there and, you know, you crucified this guy to a cactus, I guess it was. But then you sit there and burned him up. And we had to sit there and watch him literally burn. Just to be a decoy. Just to be a decoy. Because they knew that would drive everybody away from the trailer so they could do what they wanted in there. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, that's psychotic. You yeah, know? it is. They're not the most interesting looking bad guys, but when they get down to it, they do some crazy stuff. Like, they're horrible people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I think that shows good writing. Yeah, you don't need to know a whole lot about them. I think, I think the old man gave a gave a good enough synopsis about him when they were hiding out. Mm -hmm. It was like, yeah, he, he was my son. You know, he ended his mama's life to be born or whatever. And then we come out, you know, all these accidents started happening. It's like, quickly you start to realize these weren't accidents. No. I don't know what turned him that way, and it doesn't matter. But it happened all the same. You see, he was psychotic, and there's something wrong with that boy. That's that Wes Craven influence there, I think. Because look at Freddy Krueger. He was born from psychotics, too. You know? Yeah, there's a similarity there. You're right. So, I mean, Freddy Krueger... I mean, I'm not calling the old man a psychotic. Mm -hmm. But Freddy Krueger was born... Kind of had that same yoke about him like Jupiter did. So. The son of a hundred psychos or something. Like. He was the son of a hundred psychos. But then, I mean... When, they they all seem to because like they all seem to be just born bad. You yeah. Know? So there's I can see the Wes Craven influence in that for sure. Yeah, I think you're right there. Yeah. Overall though, I mean this was one of those uh, one of those kind of classic '70s horror movies I hadn't seen before. Same. So I was kind of happy that we finally got to it though because we've been we've been on a '70s kick this year. A little bit. We've been doing it. Yeah, we've been trying to watch more of the older stuff. I mean, we had the conversation with somebody at like one of the conventions that we went to, but a lot of these older films, they actually have really good stories if you ever sit down to watch them. Like, yeah, they're not going to have the big flashy visuals of a Marvel film, but the the basics there, the, the acting and the, and the story writing and even some of the special effects are really good if you take the time to appreciate it. Certainly they are. Hopefully we get to meet some of these guys. I don't know how many of them are still alive. We did meet Dee Wallace. We did. Yeah, she's a she's a doll, guys. If y'all ever get a chance, she's amazing. She's a wonderful lady. You should definitely meet her. Absolutely. So. And this won't be the first, the last time you see her this year either. Heck no, it won't. Hopefully we see her again at, over there. I want to be like, hey, did you keep that pen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we, we got her autograph, guys. Uh, he got it on something from, uh, what was it, The Howling? The Howling. I, I got mine on my just my big poster over there, guys. The, the one with, the one you if you go to Instagram, you'll see it, guys. But I got a big poster over there. But she didn't have a, a silver pin for the Howling, so I ended up giving her mine. And she ended up using it. And she kept it, so it was kind of cool. I'm like, and I probably shouldn't have done that because she is a celeb. But, you know, because like, you can afford your own, you know, silver markers. But, yeah, it's kind of cool. Like, you took something I gave you, you know? That's nice of you, Joe. Well, forget that. I just thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> it's like, hey, I gave a celebrity something. Yeah. And I went back. <laughs> D. Wallace, if you're listening, Joe wants his pen back. There better be ink in it too when I get it. Yeah, <laughs> it turned out to be the one I needed too. I know. <laughs> that was your fault. Oh well. You live and learn, right? Yeah. All right. Well, if you can't tell, guys, we've run out of shit to talk about. So, I think we just move on, guys. Uh, let us know uh, if you have any movies like that. I don't know how you'd classify it, but you know, any crazy, uh, any crazy cannibal movies from back in the day. Maybe not so much the, uh, you know, Cannibal Ferox stuff, but... Classic boundary-pushing horror. That's what we want. Yes, let us know about it, guys. But as always, if this is your first time with us, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. Should you feel compelled to give us peace of mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Bye.